IBM Watson. IBM's Watson is a supercomputer that blends artificial intelligence, AI, with advanced analytical software to achieve the highest possible level of performance as a question, answering machine. Thomas J. Watson, the man who founded IBM, is being honored by having a supercomputer named after him. The speed of processing on the Watson supercomputer is measured in teraflops, trillion floating point operations per second. Watson connects to 90 servers that hold a total data store of over 200 million pages of information. It then processes this information by 6 million different logic rules to imitate, or perhaps surpass, the ability of a highly functioning person to answer queries. The system and all of its data are self-contained within an area that is about the size of 10 refrigerators put together. The following are some of Watson's most important parts, frameworks, infrastructure, and other aspects that are necessary for the analysis of unstructured data are provided by the Apache Unstructured Information Management Architecture UEMA. Hadoop, developed by Apache, is a programming framework that is free to use and is based on the Java programming language. It enables the processing of massive data sets in a computing environment that uses distributed computing. The information retrieval program developed by IBM called DeepQA, which includes both natural language processing NLP, and machine learning in its design, is known as DeepQA. The inner workings of IBM's supercomputer, Watson. The cognitive computing technology that underpins Watson has an almost infinite number of potential applications. Because the device can execute text mining and complicated analytics on enormous volumes of unstructured data, it can support a search engine or an expert system with capabilities that are considerably greater than any that has ever been available before. Baker Hostetler, a law company with offices in Ohio, signed a contract for a legal expert system based on Watson in May of 2016, intending to have the system collaborate with the business's 50-person bankruptcy team. This technology, which is known as ROS, can mine data from approximately 1 billion text documents, analyze the information, and offer precise answers to hard questions in less than three seconds. Using natural language processing, the system can translate legalese and respond to the questions posed by the lawyers. Expert systems that are analogous to Ross are revolutionizing medical research, as their developers incorporate additional legal components. Watson in the medical field. The use of Watson technology in the healthcare industry came quite early on in its history. The first application of Watson in a commercial setting took place in 2013, when the Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center started using the system to make recommendations regarding treatment options for lung cancer patients. The goal was to ensure that patients received the appropriate treatment while simultaneously reducing costs. Since that time, numerous healthcare providers, including the Cleveland Clinic, the main center for cancer medicine, and the West Med Medical Group, have all begun utilizing Watson technologies. Nevertheless, not all of the implementations have been successful. In 2013, a project to construct a decision support system driven by Watson technology was initiated at the MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston. The goal of the project was to assist medical professionals in determining the most effective treatment alternatives. However, after spending over $62 million in four years on the project, hospital managers decided to discontinue it because they believed it would not be successful in meeting the objectives that had been set for it. IBM's efforts to demonstrate the value of its Watson technology will continue to center on the healthcare industry and the corporation will also continue to establish relationships with various healthcare groups. As an illustration, in May of 2018, India's largest specialty hospital system, Apollo, reached an agreement to integrate Watson for oncology as well as Watson for genomics. The two cognitive computing platforms offered by IBM will provide medical professionals with assistance in making decisions on individualized cancer treatment. If IBM were to employ Watson to tackle some of the most pressing issues regarding patient care and make use of data, driven insights to make recommendations regarding treatment alternatives, this would be evidence of the worth of Watson technology. The Watson Analytics Platform one of the most important uses of Watson technology is seen in the application known as Watson Analytics. It is a platform for exploring, visualizing, 
and presenting data that makes use of Watson's cognitive skills to automatically reveal data-driven insights and offer ways of presenting the data. This platform was developed by IBM. The platform is comprised of an exploration component that enables users to upload their data, automatically recommends potentially correlated variables, and builds comparisons, a prediction tool that enables users to get answers to complex questions based on their data, and a reporting tool that supports the development of dashboards and reports, and IBM's strategy for moving toward cognitive computing. Image Gallery of IBM, IBM because each component may be accessed through a graphical user interface GUI, the requirement for extensive data science expertise can be reduced significantly. The platform is designed to make powerful analytics available to workers, with only a basic understanding of the underlying technology. There is a free version of Watson Analytics, which provides the capability to upload spreadsheets, get visualizations, acquire insights, and build dashboards. The pricing of Watson Analytics varies depending on the version. The Plus Edition starts at $30 per user per month and contains all of the features that are available in the free version as well as 2 gigabytes of storage space and data sources, which can include databases. A professional edition that includes all of the features listed above, as well as the ability for many users to collaborate on a single project, 100 gigabytes of storage space, and additional data costs $80 or more per user, each month. Price information for 2018 was retrieved from the IBM Watson Analytics website. Businesses now can build AI apps thanks to Watson APIs. IBM has made available, via its cloud platform, a variety of application program interfaces APIs, which enable customers to construct their artificial intelligence apps and make use of Watson's core technology in the background. There are application programming interfaces APIs, that offer support for well-known development frameworks such as Java, Python, and others. Users can construct applications for things like natural language processing, image identification, and tone analysis with the use of IBM's API connectors, which provide access to deep learning algorithms that have been pre-trained. The creation of intelligent assistants that use Watson technology as their back-end can be supported by a single API. The background of IBM Watson The path that IBM researchers took over three years to construct a computer system that could compete with humans in answering questions accurately in real time on the television show Jeopardy! was detailed in an article that appeared in the fall 2010 issue of AI magazine. The deep QA architecture and Watson were both designed by IBM as a result of this study. In 2011, Watson took on two of the highest ranked players on Jeopardy, namely champions Ken Jennings and Brad Rutter, and memorably won against both of them. While its significant size sat on a different floor of the building, the Watson avatar assumed the position that a human competitor would take by sitting between the two other candidates. Watson much like the other participants, did not have access to the internet. During the practice round, Watson had a skill similar to that of a human at complex wordplay. For instance, in response to the question classic candy bar that's a female Supreme Court justice, Watson correctly responded with the question what is baby Ruth Ginsburg? Rudder observed that although the work of knowledge retrieval is considered simple for Watson and tough for a human, the human is still superior when it comes to the more difficult task of comprehension. Nevertheless, because of machine learning, Watson can compare incorrect answers to those that are correct, figure out where they went wrong, and adjust their responses accordingly. Researchers from IBM concluded that deep QA proved to be an efficient and scalable architecture that could be put to use to combine, implement, assess and progress a wide variety of algorithmic techniques related to the domain of question answering. There are no simple solutions to commercial cognitive computing according to IBM Watson. The cognitive cloud may be accessed by developers thanks to the supercomputer Watson developed by IBM. So this this end of this video, do you like it? Give your response in our comment section below, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more exciting videos.